This video will walk you through these steps for calibrating the Hawk C610 fluoride analyzer. Let's get started. We will begin by clicking on menu, scrolling to calibration, enter. In this menu, we have different options with respect to our calibration. They include our cal time, our calibration, our cal part one, cal part two, offset, slope, standard one, standard two, and default cal. The cal time option sets the time interval between automatic calibration. This default is set to 24 hours. The analyzer automatically calibrates after the calibration time interval expires. The calibration time interval starts when the analyzer is turned on or when the calibration time interval setting is changed. Power loss restarts the calibration time interval. The calibration option initiates the calibration of the system. The Cal Part 1 option is used to set the value of the drift of the electrode since the previous calibration. The Cal Part 2 option is also used to set the value of the drift of the electrode since the previous calibration. The offset option shows the current offset correction factor. This factor is calculated during the calibration. The typical values are between negative 100 millivolts and positive 100 millivolts. The slope option shows the current slope value. Typical values are between negative 53 to negative 63 millivolts per decade. New electrodes might have a slope that is negative 40 to negative 50 millivolts per decade. As the electrode's condition stabilizes, the slope value calculated during calibration rises. The standard one option sets the value if a different standard is selected for se special sampling circumstances. The standard two option sets the value if a different standard is selected for special sampling circumstances as well. The default cal option sets the slope to negative 58 millivolts, the offset to negative 15 millivolts, our standard 1 to 0 0.5 milligrams per liter, our standard 2 to 5 milligrams per liter, and our cal time to 24 hours. We will go ahead and scroll through the menu. We have calibration, cal part one, cal part two, offset, slope, standard one, standard two, default, cal time, and calibration, enter. Once we initiate our calibration, the instrument performs a calibration which takes approximately 53 minutes.